that everyone, like they know they need to be using hashtags, but not everyone's certain the right way to use them. So yeah, so I've kind of broken it down for people. But the first place to start is to really, you know, get comfortable with who your audience is. And this goes for any business, no matter what industry niche you're in, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, wherever, you need to know who your audience is so that you can create content for them and so that you can, you know, speak to them. So <clears throat> being familiar with, you know, First of all, how your uh, target market functions. So, you know, do they work a nine to five? Are they entrepreneurs? Are they stay at home moms? That kind of stuff is really important. Um, and then it's also kind of their hobbies or things that they would be looking for on Instagram. So you have to kind of put yourself in their shoes and figure out, you know, what do they do on a day to day basis and what might they be looking at when they're on Instagram? Um, so yes, yeah, so that's kind of, you know, where I start for that. Um, once you're familiar with who that is, then you can kind of, you know, either start looking for that person on Instagram. So based on maybe accounts that they follow or hashtags you think they might be using, uh, you can look into their account and see what hashtags they are using and kind of go from there. So if my stay at home mom is using hashtag stay at home mom, then, you know, you might want to consider using that on your posts as well in order to kind of attract them to your feed. All right, so it's identifying, knowing who your target audience are, like your, your best customers, right? Like who's spending the most amount of money uh, into your business, uh, finding them on Instagram and, and just seeing how they're, they're using hashtags on their own posts. Is that right? Right, that's right, yeah, because, you know, um, it's, you need to kind of understand how that they – how they kind of categorize their photos and what they're doing on Instagram. So once you know that it's you, all you really have to do is kind of steal a couple of their tags, put it on your posts. And now when they're looking into those, because those are the tags that they like to frequent often, uh, they're going to find your posts, right? And if your content appeals to your target market, because you know, you've already gone through those steps and you're creating content specifically for them, then they're going to follow you or they're going to engage with you or they're going to click on the link in your bio. I think this is a, I think this is a step that a lot of people skip because they think, okay, I know the, the hashtags that people use. Oh, these are the popular ones. These are what other accounts are using, but they're not looking at their specific target customer and their audience and doing the, spending the time to do the research to see and engage deeper with their audience in the hashtags, in those communities where they're hanging out. So do you see a lot of people missing this step and how crucial is it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's important that you mentioned popular tags. Like most people think, oh, well, you know, if I hashtag happy, it's got 40 million fall or 40 million posts associated with it. Like that should bring me some traffic. And while there is a very small chance that it may bring you traffic, the people hashtagging happy are so obscure that it really has nothing to do with, you know, your business of selling graphic design services, for example. Right. So, um, yeah, so by using popular tags, you may gain exposure, but it's not from the right people. So yes, it's extremely popular that you are extremely important that you choose the right tags with the right post counts associated with them. All right, so if we're looking at that example that um, of the graphic designer looking to promote and sell their services through Instagram, can you maybe uh, walk us through how uh, that person would be able to use and uh, identify the right uh, tags, hashtags, uh, and how they then implement it in the business to uh, ultimately get a sale and get that end result from, from a, a follower and a customer. Right. Okay. So I, for me, it's a, it's a combination of tags that you use. So the first couple of tags you should add are tags that describe your business. Okay. So that's going to be graphic design. That's going to be web designer. Um, any tags like that, that actually describe what you do. Um, the next thing you want to do is kind of describe your audience in hashtags. So who's looking for your graphic design service? Is it somebody who, you know, needs a rebranding? So they might hashtag rebrand or hashtag I need, you know, I need design help or something like that. Like it's, it takes a little bit of time. So it's hard for me to come up with a hashtag right off the bat. Um, but if you get into the app, you know, you go to the search of the magnifying glass icon um, and start typing in, you know, graphic design. And then you'll see a bunch of related tags that Instagram brings up. 
Then when you click on one of those, you'll also see related tags across the top of your screen. So it's kind of, um, all you, you kind of have to click here, click there, keep clicking until you get deeper and deeper and you'll be exposed to all of these tags that are kind of around your industry. So it does take a little bit of work, um, but they all they are all there. You just kind of have to start with one keyword and kind of work your way into the depths of Instagram hashtags. 